Hello everyone and welcome to Phantom Buster. We're so excited to have you on board. In this video, I'm gonna be walking you through the Phantom Store and setting up your first Phantom and how to extract the data into a Google Sheet. All right, let's get started. All right, so to get started using Phantom Buster, we wanna head on over to our Phantom Buster dashboard. And then I wanna choose on use a Phantom. Now this will take you to the Phantom Store and here's where you'll find all of the Phantoms and flows that you have available to use. If you wanna search for a particular Phantom, you can either type it in the search bar or you can sort by the different categories on the left-hand margin. So for this example, I'm gonna search for the Google Maps Search Export. Now, if I click on the more and the plus button, I'll be taken to the Phantom Overview page. This will give me a complete breakdown of exactly how to use this Phantom and a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up this Phantom. So now I'm gonna go ahead and choose use this Phantom. All right, so this first step is telling the Phantom what searches you wanna scrape. So you have a number of options here. You can use the URL of a single Google Maps search. You can use the URL of a Google Sheet or publicly available CSV file containing a list of keywords or Google Maps search URLs. Uh, just make sure that the CSV or Google Sheet is publicly accessible. So for this example, I've gone into Google Maps and typed up barbershops in Austin, Texas. And so what I wanna do is a single Google Maps URL search. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the URL, select all, right click and choose copy, and then head back over to my Phantom. And in the input section, I'm gonna right click and choose paste. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. Now, this is where you tell the Phantom how to behave or how many searches to process per launch. So first I wanna choose the browser language, which is English, the number of spreadsheet rows to process per launch. We're not using a spreadsheet, so we don't have to worry about this. And then the number of results to scrape per search. Um, right now I'm gonna just type in 10. So just keep in mind, Google Maps only displays up to 120 results of each search. Finally, we can rename the result.csv file that gets output. We don't need to worry about that, so I'll close that and go ahead and click Save. And now here's where you tell the Phantom the launch settings or how often you want it to launch. Uh, you have a number of options here. You can launch repeatedly, once, or advance, and this lets you choose a particular hour and minute that you want to run this Phantom. So I'm just going to choose to run it once, and then I'm going to choose to launch it manually, but you can also launch at a specific time. I'll go and choose launch manually and click on save. Now we're taken to the Phantom overview page and all we need to do to launch this Phantom is go ahead and click on launch. And so depending on how many searches you're scraping, this may take some time. All right, so my Google Maps search export Phantom is finished running. If I wanna download this data and view it in a spreadsheet, this is what I need to do. I'll go ahead and go to more and hit the drop down, and then I'll see a result.csv file. I'll go ahead and click on the down arrow to download it. All right, so I'm gonna choose to save this on my desktop. Go ahead and click save. And so now I wanna head on over to Google Sheets. This is an empty Google Sheet, and I'm gonna go to file, import, and then I'm gonna choose that file that I just saved on my desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and browse, go to my desktop, choose the result.csv file, go ahead and open that. I'm just gonna click on import data. All right, so now I've imported all of that data into a Google Sheet, and now I can manipulate the data in any way that I want. All right, so that is how we set up our first Phantom and extract the data into a Google Sheet. If you need any more support, you can always reach out to our support team. They're more than happy to help. You can also find answers in our Help Center, as well as on our YouTube channel. And finally, be sure to check out our blog where we publish weekly content. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.